I don't know what I want to ask our next guest about more. I know, and and okay. saying a lot about the fact that she's covering the Los Angeles Lakers with LeBron James on it and Anthony Davis on it for the first time. She's also there covering the Clippers, who have Kawhi and Paul George on them, correct? Correct. But I kind of want to know what it's like to live in the bubble in Orlando. Like, what's it like to live in Walt Disney World for months? I want to know if she's gone fishing yet. Tanya Ganguly of the Los Angeles Times, our neighbor just east of the Rich Eisen Show studio here in El Segundo, California, joining us from Orlando, Florida. How are you, Tanya? I'm good. I have gone fishing, and I caught five fish. Yes! I just wanted to start with that. Well, where does one <laughs> where does one fish in the bubble? Is this a man-made uh, situation, a human-made lake oh, that's my, right there? Oh, yes. Disney, Disney World is an entire kingdom of artificial things for people to do. So they <laughs> okay. Have, right. There are several lakes here. There's there's a lake actually like on the property where we live, um, but we don't fish. We didn't go fishing in that. We went to the Grand Floridian, which is of the course. middle tier of hotels, <laughs> and they have a lake there. And they took us out on a pontoon. Yes. We actually did a. I did the pontoon ride the week before I went fishing, and then the next week went fishing um and yeah they had a guide with us he told us about told us about the different things on the lake and the gators that we might see and we didn't see any gators but i did catch five fish i was the champion of our boat tanya way to take it down well done well done incredible um i I guess then there are you know it we we could have a little bit more fun with it but then this is a serious issue obviously what's going (laughs) on um do it seems like everybody's do you forget about uh, what's going on in the real world at all, or or what is what is it like? Do you feel safe there, in in the bubble? Um, I yes, you feel pretty safe in the bubble. It's um, the, the the NBA has taken so many layers of precautions, um, but it's kind of you know there's there's kind of like the well well they t- they test you every single day, so you okay. know that everybody you are coming into contact with has been tested. Um, it can't be a true bubble because the people who work here, um, they go home. The the people who test us, they go home. They leave the bubble every night. Um, the people who um, work at the hotel, they go home every night. And they're in a place in Florida where, you know, honestly, like when I first got here, I was checking like Florida numbers yeah. every day and like trying to, trying to see what was happening in the state. I haven't looked in a while um, just because. You know, I'm here, and I'm. I will find out if I, if I contract the virus. I'll find out, as, you know, very quickly because I have the luxury that a lot of people don't have of constant testing. Um, so, you know, it's. I mean, the bubble. I think like what we learned over the last few months is that the bubble, the bubble system works um, because they can. You know, because there's so much surveillance, and there's so. I mean, there. You have no freedom here to do anything, and that's. That can feel very oppressive, but because but that's the really the only way to unless you're unless you're truly quarantined, that's really the only way to make sure that um, that you're safe. Uh, absolutely. So okay, so the the people who are working to keep the bubble afloat by staffing the hotels and food and 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 obviously the the things that you need shelter uh, to yeah. to live, they they are coming and they are they are going. Uh, are you taking this? Um, I'm fascinated by this, by the way, because it's so important for what's going on in maybe uh, non-bubbled sports um, and also uh, maybe the uh, whole country because of what news came um, in the last few days that the FDA has approved the saliva test that the NBA and Yale have been working on for this bubble. Is that the test that you take every day, Tanya? Well, I don't think so because they, they do it they do an oral swab and they do a nasal swab for us um but it's not the deep um it's it's not the deep the deep nasal swab that right. they were doing initially right um, so i believe that's a different test from what we've been taking um so far um i don't know if that'll change because uh, you know, i'm going to be here for exactly three more weeks i leave three weeks from today um and the uh, the league, you know, the, the league will obviously be here for maybe two months, maybe a little less than that. So, um, it, I mean, it's certainly possible that they switch over to that eventually. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.